If you design websites using Divi's back end builder and you're trying to move on to design websites using the front end editor, they can be a bit of a few things that you may need to be aware of, which can be quite frustrating if you're trying to select items as you're building your website. So in this video, I am going to show you how to use the wireframe mode, which is pretty much similar to the backend builder to overcome these issues that you may come across. So before we do that, I also want to talk about my template, which is called Genesis. Now this template can be used on any type of website. It has the header and the footer. And here as I scroll, you can see here the header sort of like shrinks a little bit. And if I go all the way down here to my footer, this is the footer that I designed for this template. And if I hover over here, you can see there's, uh, you know, some colors here. And you can also go in and customize all these links to link to wherever you want them to link to. And also, if you want to use a, a logo, you can actually add your logo in here and it is dynamically assigned to where it needs to go to. And also, I have a, darker, uh, a dark and light version of this template, so you can go ahead and use each one of those. It can be used on any type of website and it's also very, very easy to customize. So that's the Genesis theme. Link to that is in the video description below. It's only $7. So I'd appreciate it if you buy it and support this channel. All right, so now let's go in and let me show you how to use the wireframe mode. So over here, I'm uh, on my homepage. So I'm gonna click edit with Divi to take us to the front end editor. All right, so in a moment, this is gonna take us to the front end editor and this is pretty much the layout that I've just uploaded and installed for you. But of course, you can use any type of layout for designing your website. All right, so over here, so let's say you want to access your section settings. As you can see here, it's quite difficult because you can't really see where, I mean, you need to click to access your section settings. And this can be frustrating, as I mentioned um, in the beginning of this video. Ideally, to access your section settings, you want to hover over here, and as you can see here, on this section, it's much, much easier to, for me to go into my section settings. So if I need to do that, I can just click here on this gear icon, and it takes me to my settings. But over here on the top, it doesn't allow me to do that. So the quickest fix to that is to come over here to these three little dots, also known as expand settings, Click here on wireframe, wireframe view. And now this takes us to our wireframe view. So over here at the top, this is what we can access. So if I click here on this gear icon, that will take me now onto my section settings. And over here on the bottom, because ideally you want to see what you're actually making changes to. So you can just click here on this desktop icon and this will take you back to your desktop view but with your section settings selected. So now you can go in and make any customizations that you need. And this is very, very easy to do. Now, one other issue you may find is as you're designing your website, you're not sure where things are as you are as you're designing your website. One quick way to actually fix this is by coming over here to these three little dots. And this now will take you to your builder settings. So we have three options modes here that you can work with. So we have this very first one here. So if I activate that and activate click mode, so over here with click mode, and this is my favorite one because when I click on any element, it keeps all my settings on it so that I don't have to hover over it every single time. So here with click mode activated, if I come over here and let's say I want to work on this module, I can just click here and then it keeps all my items in place. So as you can see there, I have all my settings. Now I can go into my module settings. I can duplicate this. I can do everything I want to because I've just clicked on it and then it stays on there. So I'd really like this. And there's also other options you can use here. So let's go back over here and let's also activate this uh, third view here. Now this one here is also quite cool because what we can do is once activated, it just shows you pretty much where everything is on your front end editor. So as you can see here, if I need to go in and make changes to a particular item, I can just go in because everything is right there 
for me. So here, let's say I need to go into my row settings. I can just click here on row settings and straight away I'm into my row settings. So let's say I've made some changes here. If I save this, again, when I come back over here, everything is still highlighted. If I need to get rid of it and go into click mode, I can just click here on this little icon and now I am in click mode. So when I click here, it leaves all my items here activated. So I can go in, delete, um, you know, do whatever I need to do here. And then finally, this is the hover mode. So here when I hover, this is just where it shows me what it is I need to be working on. And if I click anywhere in here, you can see all my um, settings here, my setting icons have disappeared. So these are the three modes that you may want to use if you have just moved over and you're trying to uh, familiarize yourself with the front end editor. All right, guys, so pretty much that's all I have for you in today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.